We're going to do a little audience interaction here. Okay, who is here from New Mexico? Raise your hand. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Who is here from L.A.? Raise your hand. Nice. Who is here from New York? Raise your hand. Okay, I know there's a Dallas in the room. Where's my Dallas girl? Oh, there she is. Okay, and great. Boy. Awesome. Oh, right here. Okay, perfect. So we are the New Mexico Film Office. Uh, I'm Alicia, this is Carrie and Rochelle, and Amber Dodson, who used to work for the city, but as of today now works for us because we accidentally stole her. Uh, we're not gonna On talk purpose. about that with the mayor. <laughs> um, she's gonna be doing the Albuquerque presentation, but she is also part of this group. So, let's see, I am in charge of this. Let's see if it works. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here is our presentation. We're just going to walk you through a few things. Um, so just a little bit of film history in New Mexico. Uh, the first film was made here in 1858. It was a 50-minute documentary um, called Indian School Day. Um, we've had a lot of production since then, but about 16 years ago, uh, we instituted an incentive in New Mexico to come and film here. So we are the office that you deal with when you want to come to New Mexico. We are your first port of call. We help you with the incentive. We hold your hand. We work with all of the liaisons all around the state to make sure that you guys have a great production. So let me talk about a few things that have that's happened. In the past, Governor Johnson um, approved a 15% film production tax credit. That's how it really started. And then Gov Governor Richardson took it to 25. We had Governor Martinez come in, and that was when a $50 million cap was put on the industry in New Mexico. And then my boss, Governor Lujan Grisham, who wishes she was here, but she had to go to DC, um, we came in in 2019. And um, our first thing that we did was pass new film legislation. So this is our governor with um, Tom Hanks. And it was really, this is actually a great shot because she went to go and visit him. And, um, and we said, okay, do you want to take a picture? And so he ripped open his shirt and he had bought himself a New Mexico oh, t-shirt. So um, yeah, awesome. amazing guy. And um, he filmed uh, one film here and then decided to stay for another one. So he just recently left. Um, so what we did when we came in um, is there was a backlog. Nobody knew how much it was unfortunately. So um, we had to figure out what that was. And then the legislature um, voted to actually pay that backlog off. And it ended up being around $120 million. But that was already paid off last year. So we're starting from zero. Um, and then what we did, and this was in, you will hear SB2, SB2, that's Senate Bill 2. So that is, um, that's what we are currently um, functioning under. SB2 took that $50 million cap to a $110 million rolling cap. So you can still accrue past the $110 million, but then there is a $100 million hard cap, which, um, so in essence, we have roughly $210 million cap, which is a lot better than the $50 million cap. And we now have um, three economists who monitor that on a daily basis to make sure we know exactly where we're at. Um, we also, if we don't use all of that money, we can use 20 million of it to roll over into the next year. So we're, we really don't foresee us getting into any issues on hitting the cap, at least for another kind of eight years depending on how fast we um, grow. But the thing that we have really taken a lot of time and energy and effort to do throughout the years is to educate the people of New Mexico about the fab what, how fabulous this industry is. And um, you all help us do that. And we have the people behind us. So even if we don't have sometimes the legislature behind us or the governor behind us, this industry is so established in New Mexico and people love it. So uh, we really see it as being very secured. Um, what we also did was we took out the tiered payout system, which was a hassle for everybody. Um, for tax and rev, for producers, it just really uh, was too burdensome. So another thing we did with SB2, there was already an extra 5% on the 25% um, for television if you're doing six episodes and if it's over a certain budget. So that, that, that stayed. Um, a lot of the rural legislators were wondering why 
everything happens in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Um, it happens here because most of the crew is here, but one of our really big initiatives, and if there's any independent producers in the house, is to move out to the rural areas. So um, we actually give you an extra 5% if you're in those rural areas. And we can make sure that you have the crew and we can get people down there and we can handhold you to move into those areas because it really is one of our um, biggest priorities. Uh, you also get 5% if you're in a qualified production facility or soundstage. Um, and we can walk you through that. So other interesting parts of this legislation. We really... Why New Mexico has been so successful is because we rebate local talent, we rebate New Mexico spend. Um, this is all about keeping New Mexicans employed. And so we do offer 15% um, for people that you need to bring in if we don't have the people here, but that's only up to 15% of your below the line budget. If we really don't have the people here, you can talk to us about 20% um, on people that you need to bring from LA. But really, our priority is to get our crew trained up so that nobody needs to come in from outside. OK, so another thing we did in the legislation is we created the New Mexico Film Partners. And these are people who are committed to being here for 10 years. Companies who want to come in and either lease a facility or buy a facility and really make an investment in our community and be a partner with us. So um, our partners right now, and they're in the room as we speak, um, our first partner was Netflix. They committed to spending a billion dollars here over 10 years. Um, that's, that equates roughly to us about 1,000 jobs. Um, like I said, it's a 10-year commitment. They purchased Albuquerque Studios, which a lot of you saw yesterday. It's a beautiful facility with eight stages. And this was their first production hub in North America. So um, we're really excited about that. Um, we incentivized this deal so that they would stay. They actually put money in towards crew training and also are involved in our community. Our second deal, and um, this Actually, we're going to be announcing and, um, and cutting the ribbon on Thursday and announcing their first production under this deal um, is NBC Universal. And they have been amazing. They are very community minded. Um, they give us actually um, a uh, in kind marketing. They do training, and then we just started the director's initiative, um, which the first application process closes on March 15th, but one of our directors from New Mexico is going to be shadowing their director of their next biggest show. So it's, it's really, really exciting that they came up with that idea um, and really want to help grow New Mexico above the line and below the line. So they committed to being here for 10 years, and we repurposed a 80,000 square foot clear span warehouse. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they did it with a local family here, the Garcias. And um, we're really excited to announce their show on Thursday. So these New Mexico partners, this is one of the things that's interesting for the legislation is um, they are carved out of the cap. Um, so that $210 million doesn't apply to them. They can do however much they want here. Um, we are also speaking with two other studios about coming and and, and and parking themselves in New Mexico. OK, our programs. I'm going to introduce um, Rochelle to talk a little bit about what our programs are and how you can use them as filmmakers. Thank you, Secretary Keyes. The Film Office has managed the FCAP program, which is a below-the-line crew training program for New Mexico residents. Productions receive a 50% reimbursement up to 1,040 hours per position when moving crew up within their department. There is a minimum of 80 hours that crew members must work. They must have an on-set mentor. There are only two FCAP positions allowed per department. And a production must have a minimum budget of 200000 A great sub-program of FCAP is Operations Downstage, which allows an additional position on, in each department for a New Mexico veteran. This has been a great success, and 4AD has jumped on board with this program by creating a fast track, which waives the $800 initiation fee and the 30 days required and needed to work on set. 
So to date, over 326 companies have participated. More than 3,100 and crew have been trained. This has increased the hireability of New Mexico crew in the state, keeping our talent here. So we're very proud of it. Thank you. Next up is Carrie Wells, and she's going to talk you through what you need to do and how you inter need to interact with the office. So Carrie and Rochelle are the people that you get on the phone right away when you want to come here. Yeah, or the email, send lobster. <laughs> there are a variety of ways to get our attention. I'm joking. So we'll talk about, I'm going to talk about the process of uh, starting the process of filming in New Mexico. And the first thing to do is inquiry. So that's, it's in five phases. So the first phase is inquiry. So you will email us, you'll call us, you'll say, hey, I'm interested in filming in New Mexico. And then we will send you photos if you like. We have thousands of location photos, so we can certainly send those out to you, um, give you some ideas of locations and that kind of thing, right? And then you naturally pick New Mexico to film your next project. So we will do the registration. <laughs> and in that registration, all of our forms are online on nmfilm.com. And you will send us, there are only four forms that we need. One of them is a registration form, which you can fill out online. The other is a tax information authorization form, and that's tax stuff. And then there's another tax one. It's the business tax registration form. And the fourth one's from the production, and that's your budget top sheet. So give that to us, and that's what we need to then create your letter of certification, which is phase three. So the letter of certification is the one that tells you, OK, we vetted you, everything's good, we have all the information we need, and now you're eligible to apply for the incentive. So then we will issue the letter of certification to your production and schedule a pre-production meeting. And in that meeting, it'll be the New Mexico Film Office, our Tax and Revenue Division, and then whoever you need from the production will all meet together to talk about the needs of your production, kind of go over the process of the tax registration, and the um, tax credit application and any questions the production has. And then you guys make your movie. And while you're making your movie or commercial or television show or whatever you're making, um, know that we, the New Mexico Film Office, are here like, all the time for you, whatever you need, as well as the many great liaisons we have around the state of New Mexico. So feel free to reach out to them, to us, whatever you need. We're here to help for Lobster. And I don't think I can say that as a government employee, but <laughs> just don't write it. <laughs> and then um, the final phase, phase five, is just to, you finished your movie, and now it's time to submit your tax credit application. You send us the paperwork, and then we take care of it from there. You go on to tax and revenue, and you get your money back. And that's it, in a nutshell. Easy peasy. Yeah. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> um, OK. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> So why New Mexico? A lot of reasons. Um, we're really close to LA. We're really close to your stars. 310 days of sunshine. We have the most reliable, sustainable credit out there. Um, the facilities, our great crew, our professional film office. You can see how professional we are. Um, our crew base is fantastic. Uh, we have the largest crew base outside of New York, LA, and Atlanta, and we're going to catch Atlanta soon. Um, we really, you know, what we're doing here is we're building an ecosystem. We don't necessarily want you guys to just come for one-off movies, although we love that. We want you to come here, and we want you to be New Mexicans, and we want you to be part of our community. And um, if you get a Zia tattoo like Stacey <laughs> Farish did, um, you automatically become a resident. <laughs> Um, so our governor is totally 100% committed to this industry, and that is fantastic. And she's not afraid to take risks either. We will open up the legislation next year if we can. We will make it better. We will continue to do what we do and continue to help you all. So um, find us. We're here all week, and, um, and we're here for questions. So just we'll see you around. <laughs>